Hi everybody, Jonathan here with a super exciting announcement. We've got some trailers for Twin Motion 2023 and we're going to look at some of the new interface teasers that have been released on social media together. So it started back on the 28th of February uh, with this basic little tease here where they basically talked about the interface from Twin Motion 2010 when it was sort of first developed. Now I know quite a bit about the background of Twin Motion, having written a book on the subject and you can see that the interface here is definitely a lot more basic than the current one but it's interesting to see how it's developed for sure. So do take a look at this and if we can click onto the next slide you'll see basically Twin Motion 2016. This is what the interface looked like back then. Um, now it's starting to look a lot more professional um, but it's definitely got a feel of the current interface about it. I really like these little previews actually, they're kind of cool. Um, but yeah, you can see the image quality that Twinmotion was able to produce back then was still very good, um, but maybe not quite as good as the rendering quality now, obviously with all the new features. So if we have a look at the next one, this is Twinmotion 2019. And this is when I personally first got involved with Twinmotion as a reseller, a teacher and a trainer, and also basically user of the software. Now that's because it came out on the Mac platform. And if like me, you're a Mac user, this was the first real-time rendering software we had access to on the Mac. Here you can see uh, the interface as it is currently. Okay, one of the criticisms may be that these buttons are so big and the interface takes up a lot of space so that the viewport size is minimized once all these palettes are opened. Now this is what's gonna be addressed in the new version by the looks of things. So if we kind of click on, you'll see here was the little teaser about what's next. And then when we kind of scrolled up, we actually started to get the first tease on, I think, the March the 1st, where we basically got our first glimpse at the new interface itself. So here we go. We've got this amazing sort of new interface here. It looks like you can click on the button and basically access all of these lovely uh, kind of settings straight away, as opposed to having to go into things like the breadcrumbs and look into the deeper settings. So it looks super powerful. I'm excited to see if you can select multiple images and adjust those together. But these little tabs across the top are previously the ones that were kind of all down on the dock on the bottom. So there's a little bit of getting used to the new interface by the looks of things, but it does look a lot cleaner and more professional to me for sure. Okay, so the next tweet we're gonna have a quick look at was the one that was released on March the 2nd. Now, this is really interesting. So it talks much more about the interface and how you can customize the scale of the UI. And I really like the way that you can kind of adjust this sort of scaling. So nice small icons, uh, medium size, or even potentially quite large for those people with the sort of, you know, eyesight that's not quite as good. This is great actually, because previously Twinmotion had these massive icons and now we're gonna be able to basically use uh, whatever size suits our requirement. So what do you think about the uh, idea of being able to customize that interface? The other thing that I can observe is that you've got all the kind of like uh, detail for the materials and things like that in one place. So rather than having to go again into lots of subfolders and sub settings uh, or menus to actually adjust everything, looks like you've got the hero main items here. And then it looks to me like if you open up these sort of detail tabs, you'll get more settings as well. So you can see uh, basically you can control the look of the interface, but a lot of it is much more accessible in one sort of zone as it were. So this will really speed up the usage twin motion for those more advanced users but it also makes it quite approachable for people uh, new to free motion as well, which is one of the beauties of the software, of course. So very exciting. Uh, let's take a look at the next one. So the next one was actually the one that dropped on the, uh, just yesterday on the 3rd of March. Now this one really kind of shows much more about how you can basically dock the interface into several columns at least. Um, so this is interesting. You can see you've got the scene graph here down the side. I've noted that there's some really nice new camera settings as well. Looks to me like you can adjust the camera position very accurately now, rather than just sort of moving it around in the viewport. Now that will really help. But over here, we've got the environment um, and things like the weather and the location all in one tab, as opposed to having to kind of go through subsets of menus each time. This would make it a lot more speedy and interactive to adjust those settings for the image. 
And the good thing is, uh, as you adjust sort of one setting, sometimes you do want to just tweak things like the north angle without having to kind of go back to the menu and the breadcrumb and then back out again. Now you can see the image quality that we're getting from Twinmotion 2023 looks even more amazing than the previous version. I can tell this image is path traced because of this little tick here, but look at the resolution of this glass and the transparency, things like the diffraction as well, caustics, and also gorgeous global illumination and reflections. So I'm getting very excited to see what the new rendering quality holds as well as this wonderful new interface that they're introducing by the looks of things. So the final thing I just want to talk about here is the fact that it's going to be a webinar actually. So if you scroll down a bit here, um, this was announced just yesterday, you can see there's going to be a live stream about the interface. So it's definitely something I'd recommend if you're interested in Twinmotion you should attend. I'll be there for sure. And I'm really looking forward to seeing much more detail about a walkthrough of this new interface. Now the final thing I want to mention is the VetDewitz promotion. So I'm a VetDewitz specialist in the UK and Ireland and we're also doing 50% off for all our VetDewitz customers over the next few weeks up until the end of March. Now if you buy from me you'll also get my wonderful 322 page uh, revolutionise your rendering ebook for free. So that is a very generous offer, half price to InMotion and a lovely free book to help you learn it as well. So I do hope, like me, you're getting very excited about the uh, hype of Twinmotion 2023. Definitely recommend you check out this thread and some of the videos. There's some really nice videos on here as well. But other than that, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. As you know, I'll be making loads of videos on Twinmotion for you. So please, if you're new around here, hit that like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching, everybody.